morning guys so oh I like totally just messed up my lip. I just filmed and I think I just like messed up my lip product but I just did this for a play unboxing and I did my pan that palette update and Jackson is asleep right now I don't know if I updated you guys but $500 later from the garage door springs breaking and our garage door is working now which is awesome. But I went to my workout yesterday and we did mainly arms, went on the TRX, things like that. So my arms are a little sore today, but today Jackson is officially six months old and we're going to be heading to the doctor in a couple hours, getting all his vaccines. And then we're planning on going to the park and then a design center later tonight. So we have a very busy day. I'm going to try and get some videos edited and scheduled for this week. So hopefully that all goes well. I'm liking that my hair is not like super like gross right now. It's kind of doable. I washed my hair the other day, but I put some oil in it so it's not too bad. I'm just tired of always wearing it up, but with a newborn or six month old, I tend to find myself throwing it up. So that's why the ponytail for a bracelet is always needed. But I think I'm going to go downstairs and edit some videos and hang out with this puppy while Jackson sleeps. He probably only has like less than 10 minutes left anyway. What do you think, bud? You're six months old. What do you think? I like the sticker. Little Jackson is six months old today. Half a year. Half a year. Look that hair. Make up a sticker, honey. Good boy, Copper. <laughs> you surfing, bud? Six months, six months, you are six months. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Yay, so I finally got candles. These are not real candles, but they're like flickering candles. There's like, I don't know how well you can see this. It's like a little thing in there that moves so it makes it look like it's flickering and I think that's pretty cool so I'm really excited this is now done I also got tea light candles for that so let's share I'll show you guys what I got there he might cry now <laughs> what I got from Amazon so you guys can know what it is that I got so these are the candles that are in that it's called the Tomenzar flickering flameless candles and so there's three of these and then two of the big ones so I haven't used the big ones and it comes with the remote I think I'm just going to keep it with just the on and off but I think it's pretty cool so I might use the remote later but that's that and then for the tea lights I got the home or HO memory LED tea lights so they look like that I'm going to see how these Oh, there we go. Very nice. And they flicker a little bit too, which is nice. It makes it look more realistic. So I got that from Amazon. And here are two big batteries for our huge flashlight. I wanted to have backups of it for in case we lose power again and flashlights. 
And then this is a bunch of stuff I made, I think, two days ago. I have used this before with Jackson. It says for 12 months and up, but I use the spoons for his food. This is the Munchkin 6 Multi Fork and Spoons, and I wanted more than three spoons, so I purchased more of that. And then I noticed I wanted machine or wipeable. This is machine washable and it's wipeable, and these are bibs that you can roll up as well. And I got a gray and a teal one. It's just easier, I think, for dinner time because I've noticed that the fabric one stain, even if I like put the stain remover and stuff on it. So I just want something more wipeable, easier to clean. And then he started to get into water, so I got one of these. Everyone's talking about these, the Zoli bought straw sippy cups. I got a blue one. And then I also got two of the Munchkin weighted flexi straw cup ones as well. So he is already, now that he has six months, he can eat and drink water. And he's crying, so. With six, turning six months, he's asleep in the back right now. With turning six months, it is his six month vaccination. So I know I talked to you guys about the vaccinations and someone close to us, family member that is not vaccinating their kid. I'm going to talk to my pediatrician again more about it since he has had six months of shots, what she thinks, especially since we're getting into the holiday season, things like that, just more information. And I'll update you guys with what's going on with little Jackson and what we are planning on doing. Hi. So we're back. I got my vaccines. <clears throat> my shots. But you got some cool band-aids, yo. Got some cool band-aids, yo. So, update from the doctor. Jackson is super healthy and growing and is in, let's see, he is about 14 pounds, 11 ounces. So, he's in the 6th percentile for weight, 25 inches long, 2 percentile. And head circumference is 43 centimeters, which is 38. So, he is definitely... Gaining in the percentiles, he was a little bean, like you guys may have known from previous updates, but he got, are you crazy? Um, our doctor, a couple of big things is um, with vaccines, he told me a bunch about a bunch of stuff and it just has come to the conclusion again that vaccines are good for you. Um, so I told her about what was going on holidays. She said, just do what we think and believe is safe. That if Jackson was her kid and this was her situation, she would wait till at least he got the first round of the MMR, which is the measles. If you guys aren't aware, measles is and has been in 12 out of the 50 states already. I number probably is growing. Um, and measles is spread through airborne and it has a 28 day incubation period so we uh, will probably keep our distance until then he gets the that first vaccine for it um hey buddy so yeah that's unfortunate for the holidays but i am going to listen to my doctor who went to medical medical school and is very in the know and looks up a bunch of stuff and has a bunch of people ask questions so she knows what she's talking about more than I know what I'm talking about so I'm one to just trust my doctor and the majority of doctors that are out there and there are a couple doctors that are out there that are spreading this information and that is really sad and unfortunate but I'm going with who I've researched and I believe the right. So, so, we have a little less than an hour before we're headed out to go to the park and hang out with a good friend of ours who is a doctor, or she will be a doctor soon. Her husband's a doctor, so we have some doctor friends, vaccinated of course, um, that we're going to go hang out with and then we'll probably go meet daddy and go look out there. The design center but he is all good i also asked about foods waters things like that 
So basically they said for food, just have fun with it. It's an experiment and just don't give him honey and any of the really like things he could choke on, grapes, hot dogs, things like that. So I got a couple new things. They also, she also recommended getting like the baby cereal and baby rice or whatever that's iron fortified. So I did run out to Harris Teeter to grab some of that. And they said, she said that give him one of those every day. Um, just because babies, once they hit the six month range, it can tend to be iron deficient. So I am going to do that. And she said basically two meals a day. Cause I was like, how often do you give real food? And she said about two times a day. So like, dinner and lunch or dinner and breakfast whatever and so we're gonna do that and then once he gets closer to nine months around christmas time he can have three meals and she even said like around thanksgiving i can give him like shredded turkey and things like that mashed potatoes see how he does got into a fun period of time with jackson and we're going oh well he's not acting fun he said mom you're not watching me so I'm excited to try new foods with a little man. And yeah, and then she said water with food. But overall still trying to do breast milk for the nutrients and stuff like that. But yeah. Well, he found mommy's favorite buttons. That's how I watch YouTube. The wads or wades, I'm not sure. She's hilarious. <laughs> Did you just hit yourself in the face? Whoa. Stop hitting yourself. And the elephant is softer. Stop hitting yourself, child. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Stop it. <laughs>